One of the biggest Kingdom Hearts mysteries that has been on my mind since 2019, since we got Kingdom Hearts 3 introducing Scala Ad Kylum, is the Scala Ad Kylum language that can be seen plastered absolutely all over the world. Considering that this language can be seen on posters, plaques, signs, flags, we started to think to ourselves that this potentially could be a language that is understandable, one that you might actually be able to decipher. Does it mean something? And can we actually get to a point where we can understand what is actually written across all of Scala and Kylum? Considering also that this language can be seen plastered all over the previous version of the Scala world featured in Missing Link, this is clearly some form of ancient Keyblade Wielder language. So since 2019, parts of the Kingdom Hearts community have been working hard to try and understand this language, to literally break it down so that we can refer one symbol to one English letter. The members of the Scala Survivors Discord server and II Captain Kai have been notable figures towards trying to crack this code. Through coming to an understanding that the symbols found on the sewer lid in Scala and Kylum spell out Daybreak, this flower here spells out Flower Gift, this poster spells out Shoes, this chalkboard spelling out Keyblade Wars, though Wars here is spelt with an O instead of an A, and the top of this board saying Information, which totally makes sense considering it looks like an information board, along with the symbols seen on the spine of these books correlating to different numbers, showing us that this is clearly volumes 1 through to 15. Through these finds alone, this gave us enough letters, as well as an understanding on the numeric system for Scala language to start breaking down some of the things that can be found. Though of course, this meant that many letters were still missing. It wasn't until the first Kingdom Hearts Missing Link beta at the end of last year where Captain Kai started to look into the Scala text found in some of the Missing Link menus and through prior knowledge of the already translated Scala language, was able to make out some interesting finds. Within the top left of this menu, it spells out chocolates. The little Moogle stamp here says shop news. A breakdown of the weather? Kai even came across a Mary Poppins Easter egg, which was just sitting there in plain sight within this menu. Spelling out on the top line, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and the bottom line spelling out, so the cat has got your tongue. Of course, from the famous Mary Poppins song. The funny thing is, Mary Poppins Poppins has actually been in discussions about potentially being added into Kingdom Hearts in the past. There was an interview with Nomura back in 2018 with IGM Brazil, where he mentioned that Mary Poppins has always been in our conversations about concepts and ideas, but we've always wondered how we can use that film in the franchise there's a possibility as long as there's a good idea for that. So definitely not unusual that there's a little Mary Poppins reference here. This truly is a simply incredible find by Kai, and I highly suggest you guys check out his video talking further about the Scala language. It is a fantastic watch. I'll leave the link in the description down below. While in the past, we have used the reference sheet from the Scala Survivors Discord server, showing us the alphabet chart of the translated symbols to that of English letters. Most of this chart, though, was obviously incomplete. Thanks to Kai, however, for putting together a brand new chart, this is pretty much what the translated letter and symbol list is currently looking like, with only a few letters missing. As you can see, now we have almost every single uppercase and lowercase letter translated. Breezy Feather is also another notable name in this who has been working hard towards translating certain things, especially in the most recent new story scenes for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. Breezy figured out that the sign of the Barakou HQ spells out Barakou, which I'm assuming here, although it is missing the O, this language possibly does abbreviate or shorten certain words. The most interesting breakdown from Breezy though is the information that can be seen with inside of the Baroque HQ, with this map and a bunch of different posters. Obviously, it's kind of hard to translate a lot of these as the uh, quality of a lot of these assets are just so lowly detailed, but we can clearly see on the map, it spells out things like Rose Street, King Lode, although potentially more so meaning King Road. There's even Long Long Street, Government Organization. Very interesting one here is a little poster of the Master's Defender Keyblade, which we know at this point Brain should have possession of. It spells out Keyblade Master Keeper, which you should know that Master's Defender is known as Master Keeper in the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts. Now it's important to know that for the first Missing Link beta test, there was a special event held for the Japanese participants of the closed beta. Not all, mind you, only a few select participants, but at this event, Nomura in 
person, along with some of the staff, sat down for a Q&A session. One piece of information that definitely slipped under the radar that I personally did not catch during this time was a question asked by this user asking Nomura if you can actually decipher the letters of Scala and Kylum language. Nomura's response, I think it's possible. But this is almost an official confirmation that some of the stuff here written in Scala language can actually be deciphered into proper words. Obviously, from some of the findings that people have already come across. So you are probably thinking to yourself, okay, now that we have this letter reference sheet here, translating the symbols into English letters, does this mean that we can go back into Kingdom Hearts 3, start going through Scala and Kylum and translating a lot of the Scala language we come across? Especially this big blue sign found in the breezy quarter section of Scala. A lot of us are led to believe that this, if we can translate it, could potentially tell us something important, giving us maybe a little bit more information on Scala as a whole and the mechanical device that it's attached to, obviously showing us the transformation of Daybreak Town into that of Scala and Kylum. And what about the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer? We know that throughout Quadratum, for some reason, we could see Scala and Kylum language plastered all over the city. So here's the disappointing news. Not everything can be translated into a proper word. In fact, almost all of the stuff that you see plastered throughout Scala, or definitely within the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, it pretty much translates into that of gibberish. Now, personally speaking, I still feel like we have a pretty big lack of understanding when it comes to actually translating this language into English. So it's an interesting case where some things do make sense, but the bulk of which actually don't. I can't help but think that for Kingdom Hearts 3, when Square Enix were first coming up with this language, if at first they decided, okay, let's just chuck in a bunch of symbols for details throughout the city. They kind of played around with the idea a little bit, but then for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link is a lot more things are seemingly making more sense and that's where a lot of the actual accurate translations uh, do come into play. Let's start having proper sentences and actual words as part of these ancient language texts so that yeah if fans try hard enough they can actually start to decipher them. By the way though I think it's incredible that we're at a point now where fans have actually figured out a method of being able to understand each of the different characters seen in Scala language. And that I think it's actually important to have this character reference sheet handy going forward, seeing more of Missing Link as it unravels, seeing more of that text appear within the city, and also especially for Kingdom Hearts 4 when that rolls around. So I have to say a massive shout out to the folks over on the Scala Survivors Discord server, along with Captain Kai and Breezy. These guys have been doing great things within the community to bring a certain level of understanding to this fictional Kingdom Hearts language. It's definitely one of the bigger mysteries in the Kingdom Hearts series, and it's pretty much at a point where most of it has been cracked. However guys, that's all for today. Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to keep up with everything that's going on here. Check out my other social media platforms. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon.